Good day everyone, and especially to you Sir Malang. This is John Mark Villamor from BS in Trevi. Under franchising subjects, here is my blindfold video installation. 1. Self-evaluation Self-evaluation is the ability to examine yourself to find out how much progress you have made. It requires employees to monitor their own abilities and evaluate strengths and weaknesses. It puts employees largely in charge of their own development. Number 2. Take a franchise consultant to assist you. It can be a wonderful asset to help you find a strong franchise opportunity that matches your goals. You should ask about your financial resources and what type of business experience you want to help. The more the franchise consultant knows about you and the goals, the better they will be at finding the perfect match. If they don't show enough interest, then you find someone who does. Number 3. Research is a process of acquiring detailed information of all the areas of business and using such as information in the all areas business and using such information in maximizing the sales, profit, and business. You have to figure out which there is demand for your product or service. Number 4. Attend the Discovery Day. It is the key part of learning about new franchise opportunities and if investors are going to put their time, money and effort into a business. It is important both they and their franchisor can get the most out of the session. The Discovery Day will often be your chance to meet with your prospect. So be certain you give the prospect a copy of your franchise Close your document and have the sign on the date received. The first meeting is the best time to present a document. 5. Stick to the other franchise. Identify the most common issues to face in the business, maintaining a regular line of communication between a franchisor and their franchise. It is critical for new franchises as well as experience veterans in the franchise business. The way ensures that new franchise owners don't feel they have been thrown in deep and without support. Find a suitable location. Find a suitable location is not something that can be done. The business location you chose will depend on the type of business you operate. Business parks, shopping malls, strip malls, Professional buildings and others are all designed to meet the specific needs of various business. Number seven, choose a franchise and secure funding. It is about if you have already completed your research. It is a time to make a decision that you have to decide which franchise system will you invest in and present it to the potential leaders. Number eight, sign the agreement. It means that the party signing. The document agree to the terms of obligation or agreement is at its core an exchange of promises and can be either oral or writing. Number 9. Obtain all necessary permits and insurance. The purpose of insurance is to help protect your business from the risk and the permits regulate safety, structure and appearance of the business community. Number 10. Hire staff and attend training. In order for franchises to be successful and running their business, they need well structured and informative training sources. The majority of franchisors have put a training program in place for new franchises. It is the franchise's duty to then train their staff with the knowledge if franchisors does not provide this. Number 11. Open your franchise business. Before you opening a business, you have to alert the customers to know your marketplace and then now you can open your business. Agreement. It's a legal agreement between two parties in which is agrees to do, make, buy or sell a good or service. In which one party grants a right or in which party grants a right or undertakes obligation. Often in exchange for a fee, a contract is less commonly called a binding agreement. 
the contract terms and conditions will require the parties to either the law refrain from doing specific actions. The key purpose of a contract is to act as a tool for structuring the relationship and according what the parties have agreed to do for and with each other. It is a meeting of the minds in a, in a common intention and a made through offer and acceptance. A contract agreement involves obligations on the part of the contractors which may be expressed verbally or in writing. Formation for a contract involves one party making an offer to do for and with each other.